Joining me now, my friend Congressman Chip Roy from the great state of Texas has been doing just that. Congressman, this headline, there are enough people who've crossed the border this year to make it the 10th largest city in the country. Please tell me that's some kind of screw up from Newsweek. No, I wish it were true. Great to be on, Jesse, as always. But uh, no, our, our state, our country is under siege. I start with our state because this is our home. This is our community. Uh, the district I represent, San Antonio to Austin, we're feeling the effect of it. And I, my district's only about 100 miles away from the border. We've had over a million people come in. Those are the ones being apprehended. Uh, we believe that there's upwards of three, four, five hundred thousand who are not apprehended. Uh, that's not counting all of the fentanyl, all of the dangerous narcotics coming in because our border patrol are overwhelmed, outgunned, outmanned. Uh, having to do basically processing centers. You've seen the pictures. You've seen what's going on down there in McAllen under the bridges uh, where they're just moving people in. There were signs down there that says, hey, if you want asylum, go this way. Uh, and basically what you've got is an administration that is not only uh, incompetent, it's actually worse than incompetence. They are purposely, willfully ignoring your constitutional duty to faithfully execute the laws. Uh, Mayorkas, Biden, Harris, the whole lot of them, they don't care. And it's endangering Texans. Uh, we've had 92,000 opioid, doses, opioid uh, overdoses in America over the last year. But here's the thing, Jesse, it didn't used to stick so much in Texas, but DPS tells me that last year they caught about 10 pounds of fentanyl. This year they've caught 100 pounds of fentanyl. For every pound they don't, every pound they catch, there's a bunch they don't catch. This is why our kids are uh, at danger and it's because of this administration. And frankly, we need Republicans who for decades have been standing at the Rio Grande River with a sign saying, uh, you know, no trespassing, and then wink, wink, help wanted. Hey, Chamber of Commerce here, let's have open borders. And that's Republicans' fault as much as Democrats. Why? Why does this happen? I mean, we'll get back to illegal immigration in a second. Why does this happen to Republicans? They, they campaign, every one of them, on the issues that appeal to their voting base, that appeal to patriotic Americans, and they get back there and they just lose it. What happens? I mean, look, it's a combination of just straight up spinelessness, uh, as well as they get wrapped around the axle thinking that they're standing for something when they're not. Do you know how many members of Congress now are going, oh, we need to build the wall, we need to build the wall? Why? Because Donald Trump ran on building the wall. The American people said, hey, that makes sense, common sense, fences work. Uh, and now everybody goes, oh, I guess we got to build the wall. Well, 10 years ago, Republicans in leadership in Congress were saying, a wall is a 19th century solution to a 21st century problem, which is absolutely asinine. Of course, fences and walls work. We should have those and we should actually enforce our asylum laws and make sure that we don't have catch or release. These are all things, frankly, just you're not gonna believe this. The Obama administration under Jay Johnson, when he was the secretary, they were leftists, they were liberals, but they actually did some stuff to enforce the border, believe it or not. What they're doing today, absolutely not doing it. Uh, and they're just catching and releasing people and sending them into our country. And if you talk to mayors in South Texas, sheriffs in South Texas, they will tell you that ranches are getting overrun, their towns are getting overrun. People are just abandoning their ranches because they're unsafe. And we've got human trafficking happening in San Antonio, Austin, I-35, gang violence, cartel violence reaching up into Texas. We're under siege and we're not acting like it. And Republicans need to man up and do their job. Okay, Congressman, explain this to me then. Why is Joe Biden, because I've heard this before, that Joe Biden's administration is far to the left of even Obama's, who was a nut job to most of us, myself yep. included. Why? What, what happened? What changed? Well, basically, the far radical left got a hold of the Democratic Party and just took it to where it's always wanted to go. They've always wanted to be where they are now. Now they're just actually admitting it because they think they can get away with it. AOC, you know, Presley, Omar, Tlaib, They've got a hold of the left. Nancy Pelosi is allowing them to run the Democrats in Congress. Schumer's basically going along with it, taking it as far left as he can in the Senate. And now you got Republicans playing footsie with Democrats on this ridiculous infrastructure bill. I won't go down that road. So Biden and the administration is just doing the bidding of the far left. And uh, basically in Mayorkas, they have a radical far leftist who's in charge of our uh, Department of Homeland Security. And he's open about what he's doing. They are hiding behind asylum when 90% plus of the people trying to claim asylum aren't. I mean, look, Jesse, I go down to the river. I don't talk to these muckety mucks at DHS and do the dog and pony show. I go talk to migrants in my broken Spanish. I go talk to border patrol agents and see what's happening down there at the river. Every migrant that comes across says the same thing. They're trained by the cartels. They, they basically won't admit that the cartels are doing it until you push them. 
And then they talk about wanting economic opportunity and jobs. You know what? God bless them. That's what I would do as a dad. That's what you would do as a dad. But I don't know if I'd endanger my kids sending them by themselves, by the way. But the fact is, we're allowing them to come in under asylum when that's supposed to be religious persecution. It's bullcrap. And Republicans ought to call it that. And we ought to actually, frankly, shut down the border. If I was Governor Abbott, I would shut down all of the ports of entry today. And I'd say, nope, we're just done. All the roads are closed. Why hasn't he? Well, I mean, you have to talk to the governor about that. Obviously, he's trying to get DPS and get some people down there to support and help. But I think things are so bad right now, we have to take, uh, you know, extreme measures. And I would send a signal to the country, you're not getting your cheap goods and services from Mexico through Texas until you guys secure the border. So for me, I just shut the roads down. He's the governor. He can declare an emergency and shut those roads down. That's my view. And and, uh, I think we ought to take whatever actions necessary to secure our communities, Jesse. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.